Good day, everybody. You know what today is? Today is another OBD Sunday where we look at another OBD scanner, and this one is by Attel. And this one can do airbags and ABS, so it's definitely a step up from those generic ones. But besides for doing ABS and airbags, can it do anything different? Hmm. I'm going to say probably not, but we won't know until we try it out and have a look. So this is the Attel, I believe it's an AL619 like it says on the box. Read clear ABS, SRS, DTC, turn off warning lights, code tips, repair information, graph data. Retrieves VIN, plays back data stream, blah, 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 blah. TF memory card for data backup and software update. That's pretty interesting. Look at that, eh? Nice case. Ready to rock and roll. What's in this magic pouch? There must be an update cable. This is your, obviously your, uh... oh yeah, that's a nice long cable. This is the scanner. Ooh, ooh. The CD. People even use CDs anymore. Suitable for Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10. What the hell? That's no good for us. So right off the bat, I see an 8 gig memory card in the side next to the USB. So Hotel makes some really nice scanners and this is definitely the budget brand. And you can tell this, it feels light, it feels cheap. I'm not saying it is cheap quality, but that's the way it feels to me. Got some buttons, some options right there. Maybe it's got a built-in video game you can play Pac-Man with the cursors. Let's plug this in and see what happens. There we go, it's booting up. It's actually got a pretty nice logo booting up. Nice graphics. See if we can prop this up. Let's go into ABS or USA, I guess. Chrysler, Ford. Processing data. Let's see what we can read. Start new session. All other. Establishing communications. F-150. Says F-150 type 3 valve, 5.4, transmission automatic, fuel type gasoline. Passenger airbag disable warning lamp circuit failure. I know, it works to me. I don't know where they're getting that idea from. So it looks like I caught it in a lie. I got the truck running. Let's see what it does for the ABS again. You can see it's flashing in the dash as it's trying to communicate. Still says communication bus fault, receive error. I know that's a lie because I had my other scanner on here and it worked. So I don't know what the scoop is with that. Let's get out of here. Yes. Escape. Let's go to the OBD section. Okay, everything looks good there. So this has got your typical screen that you've seen on every other scanner I have looked at so far. Let's see what the live data says. Reading PIDs. Complete list. Yes, let's just scroll down. Typical short term, long term field trims, RPM, Spark Advance. Oh, we could hit that into a graph, eh?
It says too graphic. I don't want the intake air temperature. Merge graphs. How about that? Modules present. System status. Oh, that was like the screen that came when we first booted up. Component test. I've never seen anyone that can do this. Even the monitor test. See? Has anybody ever had those work on any vehicle? Whoops. Ford. Communicating. My catalysts are cut out. See what it says. Oh, I kind of like that. You got a minimum to max value. Someone had asked me that. That's actually pretty cool. So this is definitely a game changer for the um, DIY mechanic at home because it shows you your minimum and maximum values. So if you know if you're out of that range, you know something's probably wrong with that sensor and you should investigate further. All right, I was getting pretty excited there, but you can only do it on 18 features, the minimum and max value. But that still is pretty cool for sure. I am readiness. I don't really care about that stuff because um, we don't have any kind of emissions testing here. So that stuff means nothing to me. Live data, we've already been through there. Read codes, race codes, system status. Looking good. Whoops. Gotta get used to the... Uh... People are gonna ask, can you turn off the beeping? Yes, you can. Beeping off. That's all right, that's actually kind of neat. I'm gonna end the video there of the hotel scanner, the uh, ABS and the uh, airbags, I'm questioning that, but uh, as far as the OBD2 scan part goes, I like the idea that some of the functions have a minimum and max value, and I'm gonna put that to use on something in the near future that hasn't been revealed to you guys yet, and it'll probably come in pretty handy to help diagnose a problem. Um, I've already identified but I can show you with that scanner so I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one because the next one is gonna be good.